यसो मति नंदन भज वरन हाग यसो मति नंदन भज भर नागर कुकूल रंजन खानस कुकूल रंजन घोपी पर नंदन मधाम घोपी पर नंदन मधाम मनोहर खालिया दमो नविधा खालिया दमो नविधा हे हामल हरि नाम हम अभिलास हमल हरि नाम हम अभिलास विपिन पुरंदर नवीन घर भर वंशी बधान से हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम राम हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Ram Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Ram Hari Ram Rama Rama Hari Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Krishna Hare Ram Goranga 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 Nityananda 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 Nithai Goranga Nithai Goranga Nithai 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 Gorangai Nithai Gorangai Nithai Gorangai Jaya Sachi Nandan Jaya Sachi Nandan 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, hey, hey. Mm. Ah, Hare Ho, Hare Ho, ah, Hare Ho, ah, Hare Ho. Tiger, Rishi Panchatattva ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai. What would you like to hear? Any particular topic? Let's see. How about Ananda Vardhana? What would you? Choose if you had to pick a topic. Let's see. Let's talk about the holy name. Okay, okay. I gave a class earlier today, and we spoke about the holy name. So I'll just repeat because I think some of the things that we discussed were interesting. Om Gyan Timiranda Sya Gena Jana Salakaya Chaksu Unmilitam Yena Tas Mai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mena Obistam Stapti Tam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Gadam Mayam Dadati Swam Padati Kam Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prastaya Bhutale Shimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Iti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirishisa Sunyavari Pastyatya De Sitarine Vanchakalpa Tarupischa Kripa Sindhu Pae Pacha Patitanam Pavane Bio Vaishnave Bio Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Jaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Siva Sadi Gaur Bhaktarinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hmm. So there's a wonderful thing about this Hare Krishna movement, it's quite really easy. It's because the essence is the whole process, which is the foundation and the means for perfection, and that is chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> Actually, all there is is needed is one to be attracted to and as much as possible absorbed in chanting Hare Krishna. One who does that throughout the day is guaranteed, you know, spiritual world. Because the holy name is actually the whole process of bhakti, and yet it's the best of the process of bhakti at the same time. For those who begin Krishna consciousness, they uh, practice chanting Hare Krishna along with hearing Srimad Bhagavatam Bhagavad Gita, worshipping the deity, taking Krishna Prasadam, uh, performing various types of services, and uh, uh, learning uh, the mood and developing the qualities of a devotee. <laughs> But as one progresses in Krishna consciousness, all these things more or less become part of the chanting of the Hare Krishna mantra. In other words, the Hare Krishna mantra becomes the focus of the devotee. And everything else they do is uh, supportive, but their, their main uh, focus is chanting Hare Krishna. They may also read Bhagavatam and do other services and worship the deity. But they center everything around the chanting of the holy name because a taste has developed. To get a taste of the holy name of the Lord means to follow the processes given to us by 
Srila Prabhupada and the previous Acharyas. One cannot circumvent, circumvent, circumvent the process by so going right to the chanting of the holy name until one actually reaches a stage of what is called um, Nam sw sw Swarasika. Swarasika means that one spontaneously and always is chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> Uh, Prabhupada was a, g a good example of that, although you see him externally when he would also speak and do so many things. But internally he was constantly chanting the Hare Krishna mantra. And that was true about Srila Haridas Thakur also. There's one little antidote, kind of a story that I've heard a few times um, by different senior devotees who are Prabhupada disciples that uh, one time one person said, Swamiji, are you always chanting Hare Krishna? Prabhupada said, come, put your ear on my back. So he went and put his ear on Prabhupada's back and he could hear the holy name <laughs> going on inside. <laughs> so yeah, for a pure devotee, it doesn't stop. It just goes on and on. Even if they're doing other things, the holy name resonates. We want to reach at least a part of that stage of perfection by practicing the chanting of the holy names. And therefore, when Prabhupada gave the, the injunction of chanting 16 rounds, he really did that in a concessionary way. He didn't really want to make that the, what we say, the established, what we say, uh, requirement. It was the minimum. The minimum, because as Bhakti, as no, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur says, in order to chant constantly, one has to chant every day. And in order to chant every day, one has to have a numerical vow. So numerical vows situate one in regular absorption in the chanting. When that numerical vow starts to develop, one doesn't even think of numbers anymore. One just chants course we still count on our beads for the sake of following in the footsteps of the great acharyas because even the Goswamis who are chanting Sankhya Purva what is that verse in the who knows that verse Sankhya, Sankhya means to count from the uh, uh, Goswami Astakam by Srinivasa Tarya this, I think it's the fifth verse Sankhya Purva Nakarta Dhabibi in other words, although they were Goswamis absorbed in the holy name, they still counted their rounds <laughs> like that. So, yeah, for the sake of establishing a, a understanding that one should practice that n numerical vow, but then again, one starts to dismiss the idea of numbers after they become absorbed in chanting of the holy name. They still They still record them, but... It becomes incidental rather than just like, well, I got 14 rounds, I got two to go. When am I going to squeeze it in, you know? <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> so the holy name remains the, the whole process of Krishna consciousness. And Prabhupada has given many, many statements about that. But chanting the holy name is actually, we can define it in different ways. Or we can explain it in different ways. It's really welcoming Krishna. <laughs> Krishna's in the holy name, and not in the holy name, Krishna is the holy name, and he has appeared in this world as the holy name. Well, he is the Yuga Dharma, uh, Kali Kale Nama Rupa Krishna Avatar, Nama Hoite Haya Sarva Jagat Nistara, and in his age, the incarnation of the Lord in this Kali Yuga is two. Actually, three. There's three incarnations of the Lord. Lord Chaitanya, the deity. The deity is called Archivishnu Vish, Vishnu incarnation. Uh, but uh, the, the main incarnation is Krishna in the form of his name. So when we chant Hare Krishna, we're actually welcoming Krishna into our heart, into our mind. It's not about trying to squeeze out some nectar when you're chanting. <laughs> You know, it's not like you get an orange and you squeeze that orange until everything, until 
you know, even the skin starts falling off. No, it's not like that. Sometimes we're looking for that. But the nectar comes when Krishna is actually uh, worshipped nicely in the holy name. And that is just to welcome Krishna by chanting his name very nicely, clearly, and keeping the mind focused on the sound vibration. The process of chanting is easy, but we complicate it because of our material tendencies. It's easy. You just chant and hear, that's all. And when the mind goes to something else, which it has a tendency to do, you just bring it back to the hearing process. And Prabhupada emphasized two things in the chanting. He said, chant to hear, and also uh, make sure you're chanting clearly. The sound vibration should be clear, clear because one cannot focus one's attention on the holy name continuously if one is not pronouncing the holy name clearly. Because the mind will, and obviously, or what we say, without even us knowing, go away from the holy name if it's not clearly pronounced. The more clearly pronounced it is, the more it, it, it smacks the mind or awakens the mind up clear and nicely. So try to chant clearly and try to hear as, as much as you can. And Krishna is coming. He wants to exchange love with us, and we want to exchange love with him. He's eager for that. But as he, as he appears, it becomes more and more relevant when we absorb ourselves in the chanting. So practice absorption. Therefore, as Prabhupada said, the whole process of Krishna consciousness really is to practice to chant. <laughs> like that. And then when it came to numerical uh, vows, he said, 16 rounds, why not 16,000 rounds? <laughs> uh, and he also said, 16 rounds on the beads, innumerable rounds off the beads. So, so one who develops a taste and an attraction for chanting, and that comes by practicing chanting more and more, and... By, by following the other principles of devotional service, which are supportive, then gradually and gradually we, we start to taste the happiness of Krishna consciousness, which becomes continuous in our Krishna consciousness. The holy name is actually everything. And Bhakti Vinoda Thakur says there's nothing in the 14 worlds. It means all the upper, lower, and middle planetary systems like the holy name of Krishna. <laughs> So it's descended in, from the spiritual world. Lord Chaitanya has carried it, he's distributed it. It goes into the hearts of the pure souls. The pure souls distribute that mercy everywhere. And then when we chant the holy names of the Lord, we can actually connect with Krishna by the mercy of the great souls who are distributing this mercy everywhere. So this is our process. And then we have two aspects. We have kirtan and we have japa. Uh, it's become somewhat fashionable to put a lot of emphasis on kirtan and to not to talk too much about japa because sometimes we think japa is like, oh my God, it's like it's time to climb kill Mount Kilimanjaro with a backpack on my back, you know. But you should see that the time of japa should be, th we should think, oh wow, this is the best part of the day. Not only do I get to chant, but I love to chant. I can't wait to chant. This is the best. When we have that eagerness, it, c it cuts away all the negativity that we may have had due to the impressions we've had from previous ch experiences in chanting our japa. Always remain positive and always remain that this is a wonderful time between now, it's just me and Krishna, that's all. <laughs> You're alone with Krishna, <laughs> like that. So it's a very sacred time. It's a chance to open our hearts and open our uh, uh, minds in, in loving service to Krishna. And once we start becoming absorbed in chanting the holy names of the Lord, then we'll understand everything of the glories of the holy name. Because the glories of the holy name are revealed by the holy name itself. So this is a wonderful, well, this, this why, that's why this Krishna consciousness is so wonderful. Sometimes devotees think, well, you know, japa is so difficult, but 
nobody will say, well, if someone says to you, don't chant today, you'll say, no, no, I got to chant. <laughs> Even though it's difficult. It's to go. But still, we should have this positive aspect that this is the mercy. And to help us chant, there's beautiful prayers given by the Acharyas, Srila Haridas Thakur, Shaitanya Mahaprabhu, Srila Prabhupada, and many of the Acharyas glorify the chanting of the Holy Name and the, and the qualities of the Holy Name in different ways. And you can offer these prayers before you chant, which is recommended, before you begin your daily japa, or even while you're doing your japa. We can also interject these prayers to, in, to inspire the, our minds and hearts to become more absorbed in the chanting, like that. So, and Prabhupada writes one statement which I thought is very fundamental to all the problems that we may experience. He says, sometimes, he says sometimes, using an analogy, he uses an analogy, you're by a, a pond of river and you have a, maybe a valuable coin in your hand and somehow you drop the coin into the river. The river's not very deep, it's shallow. But you're looking for the coin. But if you try to shake up the water, find, finding the coin, you may not find it because you, may, you stir up the mud when you shake the water up. So in the same time, sometimes we're shaken up in our Krishna consciousness. We're feeling a little unhappy, or something is going wrong, or we just don't feel enlivened in Krishna consciousness. Sit down in a corner, pick up your beads, and just chant. And chant, 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 and every after some time that taste will go and that will come back again. And this is a this is a formula that is recommended by Srila Prabhupada. That yeah, sometimes our minds and our practice of Krishna consciousness gets disturbed by the external energy or by some situation that we maybe experience. But don't let that bother you. The holy name will correct that for you. Just by just sit down and chant, 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 chant. So uh, yeah, and you, we should think. Well, I'm not wasting my time because if if the doctor came to me with my latest medical report and it said, "My dear sir, you have 24 hours left in this body," um, you wouldn't go, you know, taking out a loan to buy a house, or. <laughs> you know, painting your uh, walls in your home, or, um, you know, you would, you would focus on what? Chanting, that's all you would do. So, when everything else is taken away from us, even our bodies, the Holy Name is still remains. <laughs> the Holy Name, as Bhakti Vinodha Course says, there's nothing in the 14 worlds. That means throughout of all of existence like the Holy Name of Krishna. And in one statement in the Shastras, it says there's only two things in this world. There's the jiva and the holy name, that's all. <laughs> Everything else is ephemeral and what we say temporary. It comes and goes, but the jiva and the holy name remain. Jiva means us. The holy name is Krishna who comes to pull the jiva out of the an entanglement of material existence. And that's the idea to get out of this entanglement. Because it's no matter what material situation you have, you have to suffer or you have to leave that situation and uh, nobody knows what situation you'll get. Material energy is such that it always is uh, creating disturbances in one form or another. If it's not on the external, it's on the internal with our minds and our bodies like that. So this material world is designed in such a way as to give you trouble. That's all. <laughs> when, you, when you understand that, then you, will, you won't look to this material world for any kind of happiness. Happiness may appear in some, some idea which people define as happiness, and then you might see something that indicates that, some image or some idea. But you should know it's all an illusion, it's all false. 
This world is simply meant to push you down, 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 and at the end, and there's an old, there's a bumper sticker that the people have in America. It says, "Life, life stinks, and then you die." <laughs> I thought that's pretty good. <laughs> So, it's a real pessimistic bumper sticker. <laughs> we say, life stinks and then you chant and then it smells nice. <laughs> so this is a... So don't try to make any nice arrangements in this material world. Whether you're a grihasta or a brahmachari or whatever your situation is. And just focus on the holy name and service to the Vaishnavas. When you serve the Vaishnavas, the, the, the mercy of the holy name becomes more and more available because by serving Vaishnavas, Lord Chaitanya emphasized two things. We read that in the, in the process of bhakti, there are five major forms of bhakti, which is mentioned in Nectar of Devotion the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, hearing Srimad Bhagavatam daily, worshipping the Lord in His form as a deity, uh, associating with and serving Vaishnavas, and living in a holy place. These are the five main activities in bhakti. And these are very powerful. These are the most five most powerful bhakti activities. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu emphasized two the chanting of the holy name, and the association and service with the Vaishnavas. This is his emphasis on this process of bhakti. Of course, Bhagavatam is nectar, and uh, for those of us who are engaged in deity worship, we find great happiness in that also. But the two that Lord Chaitanya put emphasis on, because it's, the, it's the, really the focus in this age of Kali, Kali Yuga makes everything so difficult, even the simplest things become difficult. But these two things we can focus on, chanting Hare Krishna and thinking of how to serve the road devotees. Sometimes devotees think, well, yeah, I like to serve devotees, but it's not like that. You have to think of ways to serve the devotees. It's an active thing. It's not something that, well, if I get the chance, I'll serve the devotees. That won't really get you very far. What in the, the mood is, let me think of ways and how I can serve the Vaishnavas. Then, you under, then you're starting to understand Vaishnav uh, Seva. That's what it really means. And Vaishnav Steva extends itself out in the form of uh, Jiva Doya. Jiva Doya means preaching, which, in, which Lord Chaitanya put these three things, Bhakti Vinod Thakur puts it in a beautiful song. Nam Ruchi, Vaishnav Seva, Jiva Doya. That makes up the whole process of Lord Chaitanya. Developing a taste for enchanting Hare Krishna, service, associating in service in Vaishnavas, and finding ways to give the mercy to the conditioned souls. We call that preaching. It's called Jiva Doya. Doya means mercy. <laughs> like that. So that's the whole process of Garanga Mahaprabhu's uh, mission. Really, in a nutshell. <laughs> so we are. I was thinking, you know, here I am in Ljubljana. I don't know what I'm doing here, but here I am. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. COVID. You did put me here, but anyway. So then I thought, wow, I'm really fortunate. I'm near the temple. There's so many nice devotees. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is here. Not only is he here with Nityananda, like in most places, he brought the whole time Panchatattva here. So this is like one of the more desirable places to be in the world than to have the special association of Sri Panchatattva. It's really extra, extra mercy like that. So we, we should always remember how fortunate yeah, they say when you when you understand how fortunate you are, then you take advantage of that. But if you're thinking I'm unfortunate or I'm not so fortunate, then you can't see the advantages that are there, although they may be so many. 
And we have a nice temple. The temple floor doesn't squeak anymore. <laughs> so, I mean, that was nice. It was You could really dance and squeak at the same time. But for those who couldn't play instruments, we'd have a little background music in the floor. Of <laughs> but anyway, so there's, yeah, this place, uh, this is one of the, uh, let me say, uh, desirable places because there's so much mercy. We have a wonderful temple president. He, he's called Ananta, that means he's unlimitedly nice. <laughs> That's why his Guru Maharaj gave him the name Ananta because he's unlimited <laughs> in his compassion. <laughs> At least towards me, he is, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the holy name is really uh, the essence of our happiness and our essence of our advancement in Krishna consciousness. As they say, it's the nectar you've been looking for. It's there in those five, five letters put together. K R S N A Krishna. Okay, so is there any chance there's a comment? I like this audience. They know everything, so they don't have to ask any questions. <laughs> well, you don't have to ask the question, but give a comment anyway. Something, if somebody speaks some realization or some experience they had about the holy name. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Okay. I have questions. Okay. Uh, a few times I tried to chant even when I finished 16 rounds to chant in my mind. Mm. But often I was either distracted or I doing something else and after war, afterwards I forget to do th this, to chant uh, in, in my mind. Uh, it's practice. Any practical tips? Yeah, just practice. You want to do it, so when you're not doing it, you think, oh, I'm not doing it, so I, sh I, want, I should be doing it. So when you realize you're not doing, that's an indication you should be doing. If you don't want to do it and you're not doing it, you won't do it. But if you want to do it, then every time you see yourself not doing it, then you begin again. And each time you somehow fall away, again you... So it's like each time you remind yourself, then it becomes more. Like that. And uh, how about to develop this eagerness and positivity when we start to chant, that uh, we chant, uh, that we are looking forward to chant? How yeah. To well, if I told you not to chant, would you would you listen to me? If I said don't chant your rounds, would you listen? No. See. It proves that you want to chant. <laughs> but if we chant just to get the rounds done because it's part of our daily activities, then then you'll get your rounds done. But that's all. But if you chant with the idea of actually trying to please Krishna or welcome Krishna into your heart in the form of the name or try to perfect your relationship with Krishna by uh, by glorifying Krishna nicely by chanting. So the motivation for chanting is the inspiration also. Why do I want to chant? Oh, I want to please Krishna. We all, we understand that the process of bhakti centers around pleasing Krishna. <laughs> That's the whole process. So then, yeah, so that inspiration to please Krishna I had a personal experience, which I'll never forget. It's still very much etched in my memory. 
I was out on Sankirtan one time. I was all alone in my vehicle, <clears throat> and it was cold outside, and uh, it, I was thinking, I don't want to go out there. Is it co the cold out? It's cold out there, and the karmis are more colder than the weather is. <laughs> I was thinking like that. So I'm trying to find a reason to get out there. So. And I was coming, trying to look for different reasons. And then I just finally came up one with one. It pleases Srila Prabhupada. So I thought, all right, if it pleases Prabhupada, then that's the, the reason to do it. So the same way, it pleases Srila Prabhupada if you chant. <laughs> It pleases Krishna if you also chant like that. So a lot of times we have to take the motivation that we need to do things outside of ourselves and do it as a reason to please the Lord, please the devotees, like that. Then it becomes more natural like that. Thank you for your questions. Yeah. Anyone else would like to give it a try? It's nice that you mentioned these three potent processes, uh, Nama Ruchi, Vaishnava Sevana and Jiva Doya. I noticed that Prabhupada didn't so much stress this uh, chanting of holy names, but he said that if we uh, serve devotees by taking care of them and also to to make sure that they are connected between themselves and them, them then this will lead to um, higher taste and also he stressed very much also uh, uh, Jiva Doya that we must preach to the karmis he a lot he he's more time he's preaching about, uh, he's stressing more preaching than chanting. Would you comment Ooh. with these things? I might have to disagree with you. <laughs> uh, I listen to Prabhupada every day for at least two to three hours average. And Prabhupada's always talking about chanting <laughs> in one form or another. Sometimes he just says, just chant Hare Krishna, that's all. <laughs> but the thing is, those two things you mentioned, Jiva Doya and uh, Vaishnava Seva, will not really develop unless you actually develop a taste for chanting. And chanting remains the foundation or the inspiration where these other things become more natural and more easy. <laughs> Because the chanting is the Yuga Dharma. Yuga Dharma means it's the means for self-realization in this age. Each age has a, a feature that brings about the perfection of the process of bhakti in this age is chanting Hare Krishna. So I would, on, I would actually have to take exception with, with that statement. And Prabhupada does talk a lot about chanting the holy names. Every day there's this one uh, lady from Chicago. She sends me a, a statement by Prabhupada, and it's only about chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> it's on my phone. Of course, I don't know how to get to it without destroying the recording. <laughs> there must be a way. But anyway, uh, anyway, I can just stop the recording here, or just try to see if I can find it. Yeah, this I'll tell you, this is what I got today, just so you might, let's see what, she, yeah, this is what she sent me today. While chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, you should always feel the presence of Krishna in person. And as soon as you remember Krishna in person, you can remember also about his talks with Arjun. If you cannot remember Krishna in person, you should try to hear attentively the word Krishna, Hare, as you go on chanting. And that was, that was a letter to Prabhupada. And this, this is the one she sent me yesterday. The process of Krishna consciousness is to chant Hare Krishna 
and to hear the sound attentively so that the mind is fixed upon the transcendental vibration of Krishna, which is non-different from Krishna, the personality. And that's from the Bhagavatam. <clears throat> so every day I get this thing. Krishna and his name are non-different, and Krishna and his transcendental boat are also non-different. By sound vibration, we can have Krishna's association with us. Another state. These are all statements by Prabhupada. I got it. It's like every day she sends me something. There's a whole list. So yeah. So Prabhupada made so many statements about the holy name that you can't count them, <laughs> really. But he did want us to uh, develop the the mood of serving Vaishnavas because. That supports and also is the social principle of, of happiness because by associating with and serving devotees, we become happy. Mm -hmm. Those who don't develop relationships with devotees really never taste the happiness of Krishna consciousness. Mm -hmm. And of course, Jiva Doya preaching, it's our mission to to try to satisfy Lord Chaitanya's desire to spread Krishna consciousness everywhere. So that becomes the, uh, a feature of the devotee's, uh, you know, practice. <clears throat> Things of, think of ways to, <clears throat> to uh, reach out to others with this mercy. All three are there. <clears throat> They're all there. Yeah, and I Hare Krishna Maharaj. Um, you mentioned these three areas of um, of the mission, Jivadoy and Vaishnava Seva and Namaruchi. In which song this appears? It's one of the songs by Bhakti Vinod Thakur. You know, I, I can't recall. But you might have to just do a little research in Saranagati, and I think you might okay. find it. Okay. I know it's there. I've seen it written also. Hmm. Prabhupada never um, mentioned in this form. Has it, you, do you have any... Uh, Statement by Prabhupada? You yeah, that... Those, those three? That no, that I, not that I can remember. He's talked about the, the same ideas in different words, mm. but not. You know, he never said a nam ruchi. Yeah. <clears throat> but then we have that song by, uh, was I think it's Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Uh, Aparada Gucci, Sudanama Ruchi. Aparada and Gucci, when will the. When will the, the when will the offenses ceases, the taste for the holy name increases. <coughs> when, oh when, Bhakti Vinoda Kaur prays, when, oh when will that day be mine? Mm -hmm. Then also I remember regarding the Prabhupada uh, relationship with the holy name, I remember that I was hearing maybe Bibi Govinda Maharaj, uh, he is narrating the after Prabhupada, I think, left the, left the planet, the um, Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj, Prabhupada's god brother, called him or speak to him that um, that why, why Prabhupada was so successful in his preaching mission. And then uh, Krishna Babaj, Babaji Maharaj replied that because he wo he has the faith in the holy name. Mm -hmm, yeah. Do you remember this uh, incident? Yeah, it was a discussion between Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj and uh, one of Prabhupada's god brothers. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bhakti Chiru Maharaj narrated, t and I was there to hear it. He said that I forget the the god brother. But it was someone who went to the West also. He had gone to London, I think. And he said, you went to the West, and Bhakti, Vinod, Bhakti uh, 
Bhaktivedanta Swami, he also went to the West. Um, you are a, you are a good scholar, and you know the Vedas well. Bhakti Vedanta, Bhakti Siddha, uh, Bhakti Vedanta, he knows also well. Uh, you failed, and he succeeded. Why? And then there was no response, and then he answered the question because Bhakti Vedanta had full faith in the chanting of the holy names, and he said, "I saw that because when Srila Prabhupada was getting his." Uh, sannyas initiation uh, Babaji Maharaj was there and the uh, mantras were being chanted for the ceremony and Babaji Maharaj was chanting kirtan there but then it was indicated that Babaji Maharaj should chant softer because it's uh, in interfering with the chanting of the mantras so he did. He started chanting softer, but Prabhupada looked at him and said, "No, louder." And one like that. Come. He said, "When I saw that, and then I realized he would be successful." Because <laughs> those who know Krishna does Babaji Maharaj, he was he was uh, Mahapurush. He was always chanting Hare Krishna. Mm -hmm. There's one devotee who wrote uh, kind of like a biography of the life of Krishna Das Babaji. He just came out a few years ago. It's circling around Iskan somewhere. I can't remember a, the name of the book. Babaji Maharaj, I think the book's name. But he was he was very very uh, much, and Prabhupada really loved him a lot. He was the younger of the. He was one of the youngest of all the God brothers. Yeah. So that's you. We see from the history of our movement that when Prabhupada went to New York, what did he do? He just went out in Thompson Square Park with a little drum. It wasn't even a dimmerdunga. It was just a little what they call a tom tom drum. It's a little tiny drum like this. You just go bong 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 bong. You can hold it in your hit one hand and hit it with the other hand. And, uh, and Prabhupada was beating on that little drum, and then the few people who were coming to his programs in the in the uh, sanctuary, they came in the park and they were singing, they were dancing, <laughs> and singing. And then many people gathered around. And then Prabhupada s started to attract attention outside, and p other people came, and finally the media got interested and. So it all started with the holy name in Thompson Square Park, Prabhupada and his little tiny drum. <laughs> that drum is sitting in New Vrindavan right now. <laughs> I told the story, I think, right around the disappearance day of Bhakti Churu Maharaj. I told that story, how Bhakti Churu Maharaj came to New Vrindavan, he saw that drum and he fell in love with the drum. <laughs> he, he started to hold the drum like uh, someone would hold the most precious gift you could possibly have, you know. That was the drum that started the Hare Krishna movement. <laughs> it was just a little, it's like the, the bass is small and then it comes up like this and then there's a round top like that and it goes, and it's round and it goes, you can hold it, and boom, Prabhupada was holding it, bong, 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 bong. <laughs> that was our Madanga. <laughs> the Madanga didn't come for at least a year after or more when Prabhupada, after Prabhupada came to America. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just repeating. There's so many, how the Holy Name has changed the lives of so many people, how the Holy Name has reversed so many inauspicious situations and made them auspicious. We have countless 
countless, countless. Uh, there was uh, one thing that just came to my mind. Devotees were doing uh, Ratha Yatra in, in uh, London. So they were, you know, going down the streets of London, heading for their site. And uh, the devotees were chanting. And one lady, she comes, she comes running from the side, some just an honored regular lady, and she's crying like crazy. And she goes up to uh, Kripa Moya Prabhu. And she said, what are you singing? What are you singing? I can't stop crying. <laughs> she didn't even know what it was, but when she heard the holy name, it just entered her heart and her mind in such a way that she was just, you know, tears just kept coming. So this, this is one of many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of experiences that the holy name has, you know, resurrected, purified people's lives. So if you have nothing to do, chant. If you have something to do, chant. <laughs> if you don't want to chant, chant anyway. <laughs> chant, chant, chant. Can't, can't, can't. <laughs> Prabhupada talks about that. Someone showed him this cartoon. This old lady and old man sitting together, and an old lady is telling the old man, chant, chant, chant. And he, in the next caption you see, the old man is responding, can't, can't, can't. Prabhupada said he'll say can't, but he won't say Krishna. <laughs> yeah, we just have to get out of this idea that chanting is just our japa. No, chanting is, is the actual process 24-7. <laughs> That's the process. Okay, so yeah, we'll stop here and uh, thank you very much. Hare Krishna, Jaila Prabhupada Ki Jai, Sri Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai, Gaur Premanande, Panchatattva Premanande. Yeah.